It was a day of fine scoring in the final round of the La Lomerian Cup as the second LET event of the season drew to its conclusion on Saturday. Czechia's Jana Melikova continued her consistent week in Rabat with a third successive round of 72. This birdie on the eighth helped us to reach a final score of three under par to share fifth spot alongside Anna Peleath Trevino. The Spaniard also shot 72 on the final day to back up Friday's round of 70 at Royal Golf Dar es Salaam to secure a first top five finish of the season. This approach on the ninth setting up one of five birdies in her last round. Moving up the rankings, and it was a fine day on course for Switzerland's Alban Valenzuela in the first tournament of the season. A four under 69 moved the 25 year old into standalone fourth with six birdies on Saturday, including this fantastic effort on the third. Magical Kenya Ladies Open winner Aditi Ashok continues to impress at the start of the 2023 season, but the Indian couldn't make it back to back titles in Morocco, with a one under 72 seeing her lose ground on the leading duo on the final day. It was no surprise to see her rolling in putts for fun though, just like this one on 13. But it was the same old story at the top of the leaderboard, with Lynn Grant and Maya Stark going toe to toe for the title. Ultimately Stark would take the win by four, but a final round 68 kept Grant in contention throughout the day, with a delicious eagle putt on eight the pick of the bunch. And all eyes were on Stark on Saturday, with the Swedish sensation picking up where she left off in 2022, as she added a sixth LET title to her already bulging honours list. An early bogey saw her overnight two-shot lead diminish, but after that the Swede put her foot on the gas, with six birdies and just one more drop shot on the way to a round of 69. All that was left was to finish off on the 18th before the celebrations began, as she continues to collect trophies like no tomorrow. As she starts the season in such fine form, it's safe to say we're in for a very special year ahead watching Stark soar to the top.